Hey plant lifers, it's Christine from the Plant Life Canada and this video is going to be about fixing algae growth in a hydroponic system. We were recently away for a week um, and before we left we put new nutrients in our hydroponic tower. Um, it is outside and I think it got too much light or whatever it was and when we came home the tops of all the rock wool cubes were covered in green algae um, and we knew that that was bad, we don't know too much about it. Um, but we really wanted to fix that. So this morning I spent some time researching it. Um, I'll try to link all the videos I was looking at below, but apparently you can fix this issue or clean it out and you can actually put hydrogen peroxide right in your reservoir and clean it out. And the idea is to do that um, and let it run for about an hour and then you can put your nutrients in it. So that's what we're going to try in this video. The other fix that we performed is that we took scissors and we cut the tops of all the rock wool cubes off and then we filled in the empty space with clay pebbles um, and when we started our hydro tower I read that this was what you're supposed to do from the beginning to cut out the light but our net cups were so small we just didn't do it and we really learned a lesson um, not following that advice I'm going to um, add some peroxide to our water and switch it out and show you guys how that works so the videos that I found mentioned that you can use the 3% hydrogen peroxide from the grocery store or the pharmacy. Um, a lot of like really pro um, planters or people that do hydroponics probably use the higher percentage food grade ones, but they are very corrosive and I think probably more expensive. So I just got this and we have our five gallon bucket of water that we're going to mix this in. And I'm going to start with actually a five to one ratio. So the five to one ratio, according to my Google math, was around 400 milliliters for a five gallon bucket. And since we're going so low, I'm actually just gonna put this whole five mil 500 milliliter bottle right in our five gallon bucket of water. One of the things with our design is that we end up having to lift out this entire tower every time we have to switch out the bucket. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So the color here is mostly from the nutrients, this sort of orangey brown color, but there is a lot of uh, debris in there. And then we actually did get a bunch of algae in the top, but otherwise it's pretty clean. So we've come back out after an hour. Some of them are looking a bit wilty then others look fine. So hopefully, once we put the nutrients back in, they might be okay. So we actually decided to dump the bucket with the hydrogen peroxide in it because the wilting of the lettuce leaves and the Swiss chard really is kind of worrying us. So we're dumping the water, we're putting fresh water in, and now we're gonna do our nutrient mix and set it all back up. So we bought this uh, Remo nutrient kit online. It was one of the only brands that for sure had listed that it was all plant-based ingredients. And they had a really interesting uh, kit, which was about 160 something dollars. And their website actually has a calculator on it where you can figure out how much nutrient to put in um, your soil or your hydroponic water. So I don't even know what stage our veggies are in because we started them so long ago. So on their calculator tool, I'm using the vegetative state, which for our five gallon bucket is 30 milliliters of four of their nutrients, which is the Magnifical, 
the velo kelp, the micro, and the grow. So we're gonna do that for one more week. And then we might experiment by switching to the flower flowering stage of their calculator. Um, but I'm still learning about how that all goes. Anyway, so we have this kit and it comes with a really awesome little measuring bucket and we're gonna do 30 milliliters of each in here. And then we have to test the pH after that and adjust the pH and then we're gonna set up the tower again. very low dose but you can see this very sad sad <laughs> greens down here okay you guys let's check out this tower and it actually look at this stuff is way better this guy is really way better that guy was like so sad and like sticking to the wood here's some more ch chard here our tomato is getting maybe too big and look at well this is the regular basil and then this is cinnamon basil that i actually pruned last time and it's growing up pretty good check out this back side here bad. I don't know what's happening with this dill, but we'll eat it anyway. And the kale is looking fantastic. Look at that. And we're, we think we remember that this guy is a pepper. Some sort of hot pepper. I don't know. I think we did pretty good cleaning out the tower with that hydrogen peroxide stuff. So I'm happy we did that, but I'm also pretty happy that we took the peroxide out when we did. So, yeah, not bad. But let's, um, I'm gonna get a stool and we'll, we'll check out the inside, see how the uh, algae is going. So we're looking pretty clean in there. We did wipe it out, but not too bad. And now I wanna check out some of the roots. So this 
sky looks pretty good. It's supposed to be sort of a white route usually. So I think we're fine.